Kathleen McCormick of KathleenMcMusing.com and I'm coming to you to today with a video tutorial on Electric Quilt and importing photos into Electric Quilt that we can then use to design, in this case, a quilt. Um, I am going to be working with um, Gail from Quilting Gail and a number of other quilters in January and February on something called a stay-at-home round robin, which you are invited to participate in. But even if not, this is a good skill to know. So um, the first thing I'm going to have you do is open Electric Quilt. And then the second thing I'm going to have you do is find one or two photos that you want to import to Electric Quilt and to put them in a directory where you know you can find them. When Electric Quilt goes to look for things, it looks for things in folders or directories. And so it's a good idea to have an, a place where you like to find things. For me, on my Mac, I will either put things like that in a pictures folder or in my downloads folder. So I'm going to assume that you've done that at this point, and we'll also have um, opened Electric Quilt, but here we are. We've opened Electric Quilt. We're going to be in an untitled project, design a quilt from scratch. Um, I'm, I'm going to say no to that. Um, we're going to go to layout. I am going to change this to a one by one because we're going to start with one photo. I'm going to keep the width and height equal. And the first one we're going to work with, in my case, is an eight by eight inch block. And I know that. Um, so let's get the first picture in. I'm going to go to libraries in order to bring my picture in. I'm going to go to photo library. And I go to import. This is where you need to know where your pictures are kept. I'm going to import from image files. And for me, as I said, mine are in pictures. I'm going to take these three pictures in because I want all three of them together. I'm going to open this. Then we need to save them. So they're sort of an electric quilt, but not really yet until you add it to a sketchbook. So we select all the photos. You can see because they have a block around them. And we add it to sketchbook. We can check. We go to current sketchbook. We see the three pictures. So we're in good shape. We can now design with these pictures. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, go and design my first one. And I'm not going to use a block, but I'm going to go to Photo Tools so I can bring my 8-inch block, which is this one, into the center. I'm going to do File, Save Project, because I haven't done that, and I'm going to call it Photo Play. I click Save. Now I know that I have my first quilt saved, and it's saved in Photo Play. Because I don't know what we're doing here yet, I'm going to go to Borders, and I'm going to delete that first border. So right now, the design is simply this block. I'm going to add this uh, to the sketchbook. And when I go to quilts, you will see that I have one, which I was working on a little bit before, but this is the current one without um, a border. We're going to do this again, just so you can see it. Um, so I'm going to go to New Quilt, Horizontal, Layout. I'm going to change it to one by one again. So I only have one block. This next block I'm picking I know is 14 by 14. Whoops, and I forgot that I had changed that so that it automatically does it. If you have keep width and height equal, you only need to add your uh, dimension once. So I'm just going to put a 14 inch uh, photo in here. I'm going to go to Photo Tools going to select this block, which I believe is 14 inches. I am going to save this one to the quilt work table. So now I have actually three quilts here. You'll see one without a border, another one, the last one we just did without a border, and this one before, um, which I had been working on that has a little border. Next time I will do another tutorial on how to add a border row and add blocks and figure out what size blocks you might want to use for your next border. Um, there are a couple things some of us do in the stay at home round robin and I will bring those tips up 
One will be a tip on using coping strips and another will just be borders and blocks and how to use that um, and make that happen in Electric Quilt. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at Kathleen at KathleenMcMusing.com. Thank you.